Meanwhile, Mr. Tom Gresham, Gun Talk host, Sundays 1 till 4 on Keel. Hey, Mr. Tom, welcome back to Keel. How you doing this morning? Morning, Robert. Tom, there's a couple of things I want to cover with you this morning, and both of them are quite sobering. The first thing is an article, a post, I think it was about 1,000, maybe 1,500 words that you put up a couple of weeks ago, maybe a little less, on some things you had heard about the Obama administration fast and furious scandal. Now, if you would be so kind, take about 30 seconds and sort of explain to people what that was. And as bad as it was for what we knew, you you know some other things, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the short version of this, the Fast and Furious program under the Obama administration was one to run guns to Mexican drug cartels. There was no attempt. It's often put out as a gun tracking program. There was never an attempt to track. There was never even a plan to track guns. The very idea, and it's all been documented now. This is not just me. This has been, been covered a lot. The plan was the Obama administration could not get their gun control measures passed in Congress that they wanted. They needed something to jumpstart it. And they said, well, basically, if we can get a whole lot of guns from the U.S. being used to kill people in Mexico and we'll recover them at the crime scenes and then we'll track them back to the U.S. And then we could say, see, we need gun control here. And so they actually put that into effect. And they actually, some of the ATF agents at the time said, hey, these guns are going to be used to kill people. They're actually going to be used to kill law enforcement officers. And the response was, well, if you want to make an omelet, you have to break some eggs. In other words, in order to push our gun control agenda, we're okay with American law enforcement officers being murdered with these guns. That's exactly what ended up happening. Thousands of guns were run down to Mexico through the ATF, through the Obama administration. They forced American gun stores to sell these guns down there to the people who were going to run the guns down. They were used in murders. They were eventually used to kill two U.S. law enforcement officers, and that's when the whole thing blew up and they stopped the program. But this is how callous the administration was. That They said, we don't care if hundreds, and now we know it's at least hundreds of people have been murdered using these guns. We don't care if these people are murdered with these guns as long as it advances our gun ban agenda. So the question is that everybody's wanting to know is, how do you know that? How do you know Fast and Furious is even worse, was even worse than, than all the info that was made public? Well, the people who are involved in it have published books about it. This is, this is not even secret anymore. Now, the general media has not covered it, but the ATF agents involved have said this is what happened. The ATF agents involved, actually, some of them hated it so much, they created a website uh, about this, and they were all anonymous on there, basically blowing the whistle on this. And then uh, James Dodson, who was one of the ATF agents, published a book on it as a whistleblower, and he's the one that kind of helped stop the whole thing. We have the inside information from the people who were there. It's, it's not even a question anymore that this happened. It just hasn't been covered by the media. But anybody that wants to find out about it could just go do a little searching on Amazon and find the books that the people involved have published on it. Tom, I actually saw an article, believe it or not, on CNN that reports one of the facts is that one of the guns linked to Fast and Furious actually turned up near the scene where Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was gunned down. I mean, so we actually have the death of somebody a Border Patrol agent tied to one of these guns. Oh, yeah, two of them. Actually, James Zapata was another agent who was murdered with one of these guns. So we know that uh, U.S. law enforcement agents uh, have been killed with these guns. But we also know that hundreds of Mexicans have been killed and maimed with these guns. And that's cool. Here's the thing. That legacy will continue for 20, 30, 40 years. The guns that the U.S. government ran into Mexico and gave to the narco-terrorists are going to continue to be used to murder people for decades. And at the end of the day, and this is still, when you say it out loud, it's, it's, it's alarming, it's frightening, it's stunning. At the end of the day, the United States government, under the Obama administration, was willing to let law enforcement officials die so that they could circuitously push a gun control agenda. Absolutely. Absolutely. All you have to do is jump on YouTube and look for the Eric Holder video of him saying, 
The goal is to brainwash Americans against guns. I mean, you could just see him saying it himself. Nobody made it up. This is Eric Holder, our former attorney general, doing this. Okay, topic number two, and I am quoting a very wise man by the name of Gresham, talking about the Kavanaugh hearings. Mm -hmm. That they have, here's quoting you, and I want you to comment and expound. They have taken you from someone who simply preferred one party to someone who sincerely hates one party. You, I say, I really don't like it, but the lying, dishonesty, and eagerness to destroy a good man in their maniacal scorched earth campaign for power has earned Democrats my lifetime animus. I asked you to expound on that. There's really not much more you can say than that, is there? What else can you say? What you have is a, and look, I get it that there are Democrats, uh, Democrat politicians who do not hold that view. Unfortunately, the reality of where we are now is a vote for any Democrat is a vote to support Nancy Pelosi, Dianne Feinstein, and their scorched earth policy. They literally will do anything. I mean, go back to what we were just talking about. They literally will kill people for their political agenda, literally will kill people for their political agenda. And so destroying a man and his family to advance their political agenda is really not much of a big deal to them. And it, it's almost become, it, it's blood sport. It's like, oh, heck, this is just what we do. We'll get up, we'll have some coffee, we'll destroy some lives, and we'll go about our business because that's what we do up here. I'm done with it. And there's no possibility that for dog catcher, for any other level, that I will ever vote for a Democrat because eventually those people become higher and higher up and go to Congress and become Democrats who push the party line. And in this case, unfortunately, the part, I, I can't even imagine ever doing what they're doing. I can't imagine the mindset that allows you to destroy somebody to say, well, I'm not going to vote for him, but we're going to have a, an investigation anyway. Well, what's the point of the investigation if you've already announced that you're going to vote against him? The deceit, the dishonesty, the vitriol, I'm just done with it. And How embarrassed never, were you watching I, I never, all that? I never thought I would get to this point, Aaron. It just, yeah. it is, I just, I'm so disgusted with it. I'm done. And Were you embarrassed it, to wa wa watching it all for our country? No, I wasn't embarrassed. I was mad. There's a difference. I wasn't embarrassed at all. I just finally realized that there, and maybe I was just slow to come into it. I finally realized that they literally, and I, to put the two together now, remember, you got you know a party that says it's okay for us to kill people and to uh, kill law enforcement agents to push our political agenda, and then look at what they did at the Kavanaugh hearings. You're going, yeah, okay, that's who they really are. Maybe I was pretending that wasn't who they are. But at the top level, at the very top level, the lust for power is so great that they would quite literally do anything. 